yo 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 what's up guys cj base right here how you doing welcome back to my channel if you're new on my channel don't forget to like this video smash the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get to be updated when i drop a new video all right so basically today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your kick sound like a normal piano kick basically we could utilize any kick we want but this time around we're gonna go fetch just a random kick from a trap pack make sure you guys check the description channel i mean sorry the description <laughs> section for some other links on how to make i piano shakers loop how to make afrobeat shakers loop and also some other ways on how to make your kick sound like an ama piano kick all right so let's proceed with the tutorial we're gonna basically select any kick we want and that is what we're gonna be utilizing you know so we have this kick um, let's see uh, all right so let's basically use this it has um some crusty sound in it as you can hear the name kick it oh oh nine crust so we're gonna be utilizing this kick so basically this tutorial is is gonna help you um convert any type of kick you hear to sound like an ama piano kick so the first thing we want to do obviously let's just delete this irrelevant um um sound i mean samples all right so we want to put it in x4 um, let's put it in our um, arrangement section. Let's just fetch in an Ama Piano Shakers loop um, from this pack. Then we're gonna set the BPM to um, 110. We're gonna drag this and you know, fit, make sure it fits in the right time stamp all right that is that so let's listen to it just the kick and the shake as loop it sounds this way all right so obviously we want to fine tune the kick which is the main reason we are doing this tutorial so the first thing is send it to your mixer track you could just click here it goes straight to the track or you could just switch up the numbers the benefits of clicking it right here makes the the name of this sample sampler over here to show in your mixer um channel all right so that's what we're gonna do instead of just highlighting the number so that is that as you can see we have the kick name right here and let's play it we can see our kick obviously let's also do the same thing for our shakers loop we want to like um take out some of the lows in the shakers loop as well so let's just obviously just do it right here direct and drag it and take the volume down a little bit so for our kick the first thing you want to do is listen to it closely then try to figure out what frequency is not needed obviously you have heard an ama piano music before probably on the internet or youtube or something there's always something spectacular about an ama piano kick it is not punchy it is not loud and it is very soft like you already understand all right so then what we want to do first is you know the volume we're gonna be playing around with the volume from here so we'll go to the velocity of course take it down by half I think they should be like half and let's listen to it again all right good then the next thing we want to do is use this out icon as you can see to cut out unnecessary frequencies this is the first step obviously after reducing the velocity you want to cut out some unnecessary but you don't want to cut out cut it out too much because as you can see in this section right here some of the sounds are being you know taken away so we just want to cut out a little bit then the next thing the first um plugin we're gonna be adding on the mixer track is the eq we're gonna add it on the slot too 
we move to our fruity parametric eq2 then we're just gonna use a preset if you don't want to use a preset that is your decision you could just basically just drag it to whichever way you want to drag it that is your decision but to make things short we're gonna make use of a preset i'm gonna make the download link for this particular kick for you guys it's going to be in the description if you can't find it in the description make sure you guys check the comment the pinned comment i'm gonna leave the link to download the kick and some other ama piano kick for you to utilize so we'll go to the presets and we're gonna be selecting the 40 hertz to 18 hertz chord definitely we don't want to take away all the sub so what we're gonna be playing around with with this section right here so you keep cutting it down to the point where you feel it is soft as you know so let's listen to it and then let's start playing around So this part is good but at some point we can see here some sharp point you know that is where we use the slot 1 EQ parametric EQ2 to cut out so while we play it we're looking at the the highest punchy part we're gonna reduce it a little bit as you can see right here this is where it is this section here as you can see this is the you know the highest part so what we're gonna do is cut it down a little bit this way and also after doing that you check your second EQ you can see cut it down a little bit So basically this is obviously enough for the ama piano kick so i'm just gonna go grab a random ama piano loop i created um, percussion loop there should be some ama piano loop here all right this is one let's let's fit it in um let's make sure it fits properly yes it does and let's play it and let's listen You could also you could also utilize this right here to boost the sub in it but make sure you're not doing it too much because it could affect your log drum because the purpose of an the main two sounds you do not want to play with in an ama piano is the shakers which gives it the bounce the log drum and the snare you could listen to an ama piano instrumental or an ama piano music that doesn't have a kick the kick is there but it is not as important as important so that's why most of the kick is always just soft it's there but it's it doesn't outshine just not you know when you listen to a trap music you know the kick is always punchy and you know it outshines just like the hi-hat and the melody so you could play around with this knob right here to till it fits your taste all right so basically that is that for the 
and my piano you don't necessarily need to add this if you want you can just leave it but make sure this two eq eq in the key is paramount no matter the kick you are utilizing for your beat production the eq you do on the kick determines how it's gonna sound i hope with this tutorial you guys were able to learn how to eq or make an ama piano kick which whichever kick that you find in any percussion loop check the description also check the comment section if you want to download this free i'm a piano kick and loop all right guys peace out cj peace out of here make sure you smash the subscribe button hit the like button and also drop a comment as a sign that you support and you know you could also drop your feedback as, as well all right guys peace out cj peace out of here